Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today I'm going to show you how to create a histogram in Excel. So before you go over to Excel, if you can do a little pre-work, it's going to make things go a lot quicker. So I always determine my number of classes before I start. And in this case, I'm going to use a rule that's referred to as the 2 to the k rule. And it basically says I'm going to raise 2 to the power of k until the product of that is greater than n. And then k, my power, is going to be the number of my classes. Or if you already know how many classes you want, then we can go ahead and determine your class width based on the data. We'll do that by simply finding the range of the data and equally dividing it by the number of classes. The data that I'm going to use today is the length of 30 rivers in North America. So I've already decided that I'm going to have five classes based on this 2 to the k rule. And so what I did was I simply took 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 and so that got me to greater than my n because I had 30 rivers and this 5 represents this, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 5 classes. Now that I know that I have 5 classes I'm going to take and figure out what my class width is. So I figured out the range of my data and the longest river I had was 926 miles. The shortest river I had was 301 mile so that gave me a range of 625. So my data range is 625. I divided it by that number of classes and now I know I have a class width of 125. I'm going to let Excel do the rest of the work. Alright, so you'll see here that I have my river lengths. Make sure when you get ready to do this that you enter your data in a single column. Right? And of course this is my data sorted. So I'm going to come up to the insert menu. I'm going to come over here to charts and where I see this one that has four blue lines on it which are my statistics charts. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to tell it I want a histogram. Alright, so I'm going to say select data and it simply wants to know where my observations are. So I'll come over back over to my data and I'm just going to highlight those cells that contain my data and then just going to let go. So now what I have is the chart data is here, it's my series, and I'm going to click OK. And mini tab, I mean Excel is going to give me this nice histogram up here. The problem is is that it gave me what it wanted, not what I wanted. It sorted it into three classes, and so now I'm going to change that. In order to change that, click on this horizontal axis, click on it, double click, and it's going to give me this menu over here and axis options. See where it's asking me for bin width and number of bins? Right, That's simply classes or intervals. So I think that we decided earlier that my bin width was going to be 125, which gives me five classes. So I'm good to go now with my classes and the other thing I want to do is I want it to give me my frequencies in each class so I'm going to right click there and I'm going to say go ahead and add my data labels. Okay. Um, I like to have an outline on in between my bars right, just for uh, ease of reading it right. and we always want to make sure that we have our charts properly labeled so I'm going to put river lengths. Right. And so now what I know is I have nine observations or nine rivers that are from 301 up to 426 miles, another eight that are 426 to 551, another four 551 to 676, and so on until I have my entire set of data graphed into this histogram. So using that insert chart function in Excel can go ahead and sort your data for you and give you a beautiful statistically correct histogram. As always, I hope that you found this helpful and thanks for watching.